Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Walking Dead video. So, in this one here, I wanted to talk about the Walking Dead Daryl Dixon, because we actually got some updates on uh, Daryl Dixon, and I really wanted to get into this, because obviously, this show is, uh, you know, going to be premiering this year, and we actually got a, a release, like, time frame of when it's going to be coming out, so I want to talk about that, talk about Season 2 a little bit here, and also talk about Season 3. I've been waiting to do a, a Daryl Dixon video for a while, because we've been getting little uh, pieces of information here and there, but it just hasn't been enough to do a video with. So I've just been gathering a bunch of stuff and then yeah, we'll get into it here in this video now. So before we go any further, obviously make sure to be a subscriber if you wanna get all my walk into content like this. The Ones Who Live episode two airs in three days. I will be doing my Q&A video tomorrow and also a lot of videos focused on episode two and sort of uh, predictions and, and uh, breakdowns of some of the new teasers and all that for episode two. So yeah, if you wanna get all my content on that, then definitely make sure to be a subscriber. So I saw this the other day actually, but Norman Reedus did confirm it, I believe on Instagram, in which The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, I guess the Book of Carol, is now going to be airing in summer of 2024. So very, very interesting release date. You know, a lot of people are speculating as to when this could actually come out. It's very hard for me to say exactly when. So when you're looking at the ones who live, this show is airing right now, but the finale will be airing on March 31st. And so the day after, it's April 1st, and at that point, you're just kind of into April. Summer obviously starts in like, what, halfway through June? It's like June 20th or 21st or something like that, whatever that is. Um, do I see this show airing at the very end of June, like June 30th or June 23rd? It's possible. At this point, it'll have been like, what, three months since uh, Daryl Dixon aired? Like, I could see that potentially happening. It, they could actually air it there. The only thing with that is, like, say they air it, like, June 30th. Or just say it's, like, June 23rd. That would take us to, like, the end of July. Which means that there's no Walking Dead content really until February of the next year. Because remember, they're filming Dead City Season 2, I believe, in April. So, you know, they'll probably film that until the end of the summer or something like that. But then they got to edit that and all that. And I do think that um, Dead City is probably going to be out at some point in what, February? Like this time next year, maybe it's a little bit earlier, but I think that's when we're going to get season two of uh, of Dead City. Again, they could maybe release it earlier. Like usually they, they would have been able to do that. Like The Walking Dead, like the main show, they would start filming in April, May, and the show would come out in October. But the budget is much higher now. You can tell with the quality and all that. So it is taking a lot more time to work on. So, you know, based off of this new schedule now, like I'm pretty sure for Daryl Dixon, they wrapped up filming at some point in when December, January or something like that. So, you know, the fact that it's going to be airing at some point this summer, I, I think it's like minimum six to seven months in between, you know, like stopping filming and the show premiering. If they're only starting in April, it's early April, but if they're starting April and they go until the end of July or something like that, or may say it's the end of June, or just say July. That would mean, you know, six months of editing would take us to like January. So I just think it makes sense with previous Walking Dead release windows. It's always February. So February 2025 is when I'm expecting Dead City Season 2. That's kind of what I'm expecting with that. And I don't, again, like if if Daryl Dixon aired in uh, early, or not early, but late June, it would be over by the time Comic-Con aired. And then there's nothing in terms of Walking Dead content for the rest of the year. <laughs> and like, that seems very off to me. That's why I don't really feel like that's actually going to be the case, because to me, you always want to watch The Walking Dead in the fall. And, and honestly, I was kind of hoping for them to hold off on this until the fall. Yes, that does mean like six or seven months of no Walking Dead content throughout the entire summer. But to me, honestly, like that's not really, I don't know, I'm just so used to that. I'm so used to not being able to like talk a lot about The Walking Dead throughout the summer. It's always like six or seven months of like nothing, right? Like there'll be stuff here and there that does come out, obviously. But pushing that off until the fall months, I mean, I guess it makes the summer and stuff more exciting overall but that's why i just don't think it's going to be uh like late june or anything like that so could this show air in july i guess it could it could be more of a july and august show but to me i really feel like it's going to be an august thing because the walking dead has aired shows in august or amc that they, they've aired walking dead shows in august before you know tales of the walking dead the walking dead final season uh world beyond might have aired in august i'm not entirely sure on that though so i think that there's a good chance that this is probably coming out in august so instead of like september 10th or september 12th or whatever i believe was the was the date last year Maybe it's like two weeks earlier and it's like August 25th or something like that, right? August 18th, August 25th. That to me makes a lot of sense. And this way you're releasing a trailer at Comic-Con. And uh, that's also about a month before the show actually premieres. And then we're just getting it at the end of August. And so we're going to have... You know, Daryl Dixon from the end of August going all the way up until early October, basically, which kind of lines up with what they did last year, right? So uh, it'll be a little bit earlier, but still basically is kind of the same. So that's kind of what I think they mean by summer 2024. 
is that it's going to release in August. I don't think it means in June. That seems way too early. And I think there's a chance for it to be July, but I do think for sure it's probably going to be in August. Like, that's my guess right now. So, yeah, because I think you want to have this stuff evenly spread out, right? Like, if you have, um, I mean, think about it. You're airing The Once You Live in February, and then you air Daryl Dixon in August, and then Dead City in February 2025. That's six months apart for each show. I think that's perfect. So, I, I think sticking to a schedule like that works really well. And also, on top of all of this here, they are apparently working on a season three right now. So, I've seen this a lot uh just kind of everywhere but i actually saw a video the other day where scott gimple was actually talking about it like they're working on season three and apparently they're going to start to film this in june i believe so that i find very very fascinating the fact that they're actually working on a season three already so that kind of confirms that i mean yeah i guess they'll have this show out for uh at some point in 2025 it's probably going to be the same time frame right like it's probably going to be august september around there of 2025, we'll see uh, season three of Daryl Dixon. I'm really wondering what the story is, uh, is at at that point, because again, they're already done season two. They're working on the story for season three, but we're not going to see this for another year and a half still. <laughs> so like, I wonder what the story is going to be, you know, uh, just at that point there. And uh, I think it's just kind of insane to think that they're actually, they're going that far with this show. Um, I mean, obviously the ratings are, are like really great and AMC still hasn't officially renewed it for a season three, but I do imagine it is going to get a season three, right? It's just, uh, yeah, it's just kind of insane to think that they're already going to be filming that this year. But Daryl Dixon, you know, the story is really great. People really like the ones who live. Um, you know, I think for a lot of people who are just tuning into The Walking Dead again for the first time in many years, out of the two spinoffs, if you had to watch one, I would say go and watch Daryl Dixon. There's nothing wrong with Dead City. It's just that it's more of the same same sort of Walking Dead story that you know, and I, I really do like that story, but it is more of the same Walking Dead story that you know, which I do think they have to change going into a season two. But anyways, Daryl Dixon, you know, uh, the story is very, very exciting. And like the ones who live, it's exciting because it's Rick and Michonne, but like the story elements to Daryl Dixon, I feel like is way more exciting. The CRM stuff though is getting very interesting. So I don't want to say anything about that yet because it, it can go in a really crazy place where I just, I love the story so much, but with Daryl Dixon, you know, having this setting in France, the newer characters that were introduced in that show and variant walkers it's so cool it's so awesome to actually watch that show and again for season two carol's coming back so it's not just the daryl show anymore it's gonna be daryl and carol right so really amazing i just think yeah it's so cool to see where the walking dead is going and that's the thing you know when it comes to the ones who live if it does get a season two when is that show coming out you know for me i'm just speculating here just literally just speculating entirely but if i'm looking at the ones who live in terms of filming and all that when could this show film i feel like it would probably film at the end of this year or like early next year kind of thing i do think they're going to film away from jersey because I know that's one thing they were complaining about was the cold, right? So they're probably going to film away from Jersey. But I wonder if in 2025, if we're going to get three shows like Dead City in February. And uh, again, Daryl Dixon, like if it is a six month rule, six or seven month rule, if Daryl Dixon is filming in June of this year and that goes for three months or something until October, like end of October, early November, and then you got to wait six, seven months. That show could come out at some point in the, the spring or whatever of 2025, right? And then the ones who live, if they do do a season two, maybe that show comes out in the fall of 2025, right? So then we'd be back to a fall schedule. That would be really awesome. Could you imagine that? Like that could actually be the, the state of everything in the next, like, I guess like two months, right? Like as soon as the ones who live is over, if they confirm a season two and then we're all talking about when it can come out and then we sort of know the release dates for everything else, it could literally be like 2025 could be a really crazy year for The Walking Dead where we have three shows airing that year. I just, yeah, that'd be really insane. But in terms of what I want to see more from in, in Daryl Dixon season two, I definitely want there to be a a bigger focus on the the variant walker storyline i know daryl and carol and their reunion is going to be such a big part to all of it but I, I do think i want them to focus more on the other sides to it right like reuniting rick and michonne is kind of the, the, the same thing like it's really exciting to see them together and obviously i got so emotional when i saw them together but like you do want to focus on other things right you want to focus on the other parts of the story and i hope that they do that for daryl dixon where you get daryl and carol together that reunion and everything is is all good and then you focus on the variant Walker stuff. And I brought this up before, you know, Daryl is a character that when he sees variant walkers, he's just going to kill the variant Walker. Maybe he kind of wonders what was that, but like, he's just going to continue on and try and survive. Like he's not someone that will just like really try and figure out what's going on with that. Carol though, 
she is so that character. She's going to see a Varian Walker like that, see someone like Madame Genet and be like, what are you trying to do, <laughs> right? And she's going to try, well, she's not going to try and look into it. She's going to look into it, right? She's going to look into that whole thing. And I think that's where some of the Varian Walker storyline stuff could get very, very interesting because a flaw right now with the Varian Walkers is the fact that when you uh, have two of them in the same room, they kill each other, right? So that's definitely something that's wrong. Like, yes, if you just have one, really incredible. But if your goal is to use these as weapons and to have a bunch of them together, then they're all just going to kill each other. It doesn't really matter. So you do have to sort of fix a lot of that here. I hope that that is the focus for season two, that they do actually, you know, experiment with that more. And we do see more of, you know, what Madame Genet's plan is overall with a lot of that, right? Because the first season was all about being introduced to all of this here, you know, and the stuff with Laurent. Now they're at the nest. Laurent's at the nest. They succeeded in that. Daryl's going to be staying here now. Carol will be here soon. Madame Genet is still trying to get them, right? So now I think they can kind of focus more on that part to it here. And uh, yeah, I think season two could honestly be a much better season than season one. And I'm just, I'm excited for it. So anyways, post all your thoughts down below. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.